the reason why I'm making this video, I'm making the video on this topic is yesterday a very, very sad incident happened in my life. Few days before, one of my friend, he had called me and said that I want my son to come to you. We both want to come to you and do some career counseling. I said, fine, no problem, you can come. And they were supposed to come, but they did not come. After seven days, I called him, but he did not respond. But yesterday, one of my students told this horrific news. He said that, sir, that boy who was supposed to come to meet you, he has committed suicide. I was shocked. I couldn't digest this. And yesterday, I went and met him, met his father, and we spoke and he told about how this boy who was 22 years old only who had a better job everything was fine at, at his home but he committed suicide at that instant i told his father that i'm going to make a video on this because i don't want youths or anyone to commit suicide if my video is going to help any single person to stop from committing suicide, I think that will be my achievement. That is the goal of this video. Dear friends, understand why we commit suicide. Why a person who is normal, who smiles, who looks very, very happy outside, but second day commits suicide. You may have seen people around you, they look absolutely normal, but second day they are nowhere. They kill themselves. Why this happens? The reason is faulty thinking. A person who commits suicide, he thinks in a completely distorted way. And the problem is, he not only thinks, he believes in his thoughts. You have to understand that when you are disturbed, depressed by any event in your life, it can be anything. It can be a divorce, it can be a breakup, it can be failure in the exam. It can be loss of job, loss, loss in business. You get depressed. And when you get depressed, you get emotionally overwhelmed. Emotionally, you are controlled by your emotional brain. Your logical brain stops thinking and your emotional brain controls you. And in that particular phase, you believe all your thoughts. So which thoughts come in your mind? I'm hopeless. I'm useless, I'm a failure. This will never end in my life. This phase will never end in my life. I will never succeed in life. And these people believe in these thoughts. But the reality is something else. All these thoughts are not real. Why they are not real? Because Whatever you think about yourself, when you think about yourself in this way, these are not the real thoughts. These are the thoughts created by your emotional brain. And you believe in those thoughts. For example, let us take this thought. I'm hopeless. The reality is something else. The reality is your hope is less, but you are not hopeless. This is the reality actually. I'm a failure. The failure is you failed, you failed in exam or you failed in any interview, but you are not a failure. One, two, three, four, five times failures are there, but you are not a failure. Everyone who failed, they haven't committed suicide. They have fought back. It depends upon how you look at your failure. Another can be, this will never pass. This will never end in my life. How do you know? How can you judge? No one knows the future. This ends. Everything ends. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. We have to be careful about our thought process. Be aware of our thought process. Don't believe all of your thoughts. Be choosy about your thoughts. Now one more thing you have to do is be emotionally open in front of your loved ones, in front of your friends. There is, it's not weakness when you say that I'm, I'm feeling like depressed. 
I'm feeling like committing suicide. Talk to them. If you have these thoughts in your mind, talk to your loved ones. Speak with them. There is nothing wrong about that. See, understand one thing. As body can fall ill, mind also can fall ill. Just like body gets cough and cold, depression, suicidal thoughts are also due to the illness of your mind. So you can, you can go and express your feelings. This does not mean that you are insane, you are crazy. Everyone goes through these phase. But if you can get proper help, if you have a proper approach, you can come out of all these suicidal thoughts. And last and very important, go and meet a counselor, go and meet a doctor, a psychiatrist, a therapist, nothing wrong in that. You can go and you can talk. As we go to a normal doctor, go to that doctor. Today, situations have changed. Uncertainty is there. Lot of competition is there. Failures are common. Financial issues are there. Social media is there. Due to that, it may happen. It may happen that you have to go through a lot of stress. And that's absolutely normal. There is nothing wrong in that. So dear guys, dear friends, brothers and sisters, let me tell you one important thing here. And the thing is this. Suicide is a permanent solution for a temporary problem. I repeat again for you. Suicide is a permanent solution for a temporary problem. When your mind tells, end your life. Listen to your brain. Your brain will say, what will happen to my father? What will happen to my mother? Think about this. I want you to share this video in all the groups. All the, all the youngsters should see this video so that in our country, no one should commit suicide. They should understand the reality. This is the purpose of this video. And it's your responsibility to share the video. Okay, guys? Thank you. And live life with passion.